you guys have been asking for some more in-depth analysis on specific players. I thought that there's no better place to start than with Alizadeen Unahi, one of the standout performers from the World Cup 2022. In Morocco's final World Cup game against France, Unahi played in midfield as a number 8. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn from this young baller. First of all, Unahi is incredibly comfortable operating in tight spaces and using his dribbling skills to get out of pressure. His awareness allows him to use his first touch to exploit space. Here, he takes an aggressive first touch to attack the space while keeping his body in between the defender and the ball. In this clip, Unahi combines an intelligent first touch along with intricate dribbling to retain possession for his team. I like this clip a lot because he recognizes the covering defender ahead of him very, very early. He uses the outside of the foot turn to keep the ball safe side and then retains possession for his team. As a midfielder, having that understanding of when to be positive and when to keep the ball is so important. In general, Unahi is very good at this, apart from when he tries to nutmeg Modric here in his own box, even if he does get away with it in the end. The other thing that I like about Unahi's game is that he dribbles for a purpose. There is intelligence and thought behind each action as he looks to link up with his teammate, and then he has the quality of pass in the end to do so. For example, in this action, he drops the shoulder in order to create space for the line breaking pass. He recognizes the option, identifies the problem, and finds the solution. Your talent can only really be expressed if the quality of your decisions are high, especially as a midfielder. The quality of those decisions continue into Unahi's defensive work where by no means is he a big tackler, but he reads the game very intelligently. That awareness is what helps him to spring counter-attacks in those moments that he wins the ball. Unahi shows us that out of possession as a midfielder, intelligence beats physical presence. I love how there is so much thought behind each of his actions, and even as he wins the ball, he still looks to link up with his teammate. So what can the midfielder learn from Unahi? Number one, dribble for a purpose. Beating a player means very little unless you progress the ball forward for your team. Dribble with your head up and have an understanding of why you are carrying the ball. Maybe it's to draw a defender to create space for the pass. Number two, Unahi always thinks positive, but also recognizes when it's the best decision to simply keep the ball for his team. It is not always possible to play forwards and your maturity as a midfielder will be shown by your ability to find feet and retain possession. Number three, you can have all of the talent in the world, but that means nothing as a central midfielder if you don't do the work out of possession as well. Tackling is not always the answer, and using awareness to make interceptions is often a far more effective tool. Unahi excites and impresses by combining both talent and maturity. I first heard of him at the World Cup, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing where his career goes next. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and also let me know in the comments who you would like to see next.